This Q30 Sports presentation is brought to you by the Bobcat Shop, located at 1010 Sherman Avenue in Hamden. It was a 2014 NCAA Women's Frozen Four at High Point Solutions Arena in Hamden, Connecticut. The first matchup between number one ranked Minnesota and number four ranked Wisconsin. Minnesota is looking to make their third consecutive national championship game, while Wisconsin is looking to advance to the championship round for the first time in three years. The defense was strong for both teams throughout the most of the first period until Wisconsin broke through with the goal by Brittany Ammerman to put Wisconsin up 1-0 with less than two minutes left. The lead did not last long as Minnesota evened it up early in the second period with a goal by Terry Kelly. Minnesota a few minutes later would take the lead on a power play goal by Marianne Menifee. Wisconsin took the 3-2 lead into the third period but could not hold on as it was all Minnesota. Starting it off was the nation's leading scorer, Hannah Brandt, scoring a power play goal to tie the game at three goals apiece. Soon after was Rachel Bonner scoring a goal to give Minnesota the 4-3 lead. After the game, Bonner talked about the play. Obviously, going against Rigsby, she's an All-American goalie, and so I tried to, like I said before, I usually go on my backhand on those plays, and so I tried to switch it up a little, and I think she kind of knows that I like to do that, and so I threw something different at her. Late in the game, Minnesota put the dagger on Wisconsin with a goal from Bailey Galanders to give Minnesota a 5-3 victory over Wisconsin. Wisconsin's head coach, Mark Johnson, thought his team played well, but not well enough. Uh, I thought we played a very good game, uh, but, you know, in this setting, it wasn't good enough. Minnesota is going for the third consecutive national championship title, but first, they need to know who they're playing. Second game in the Frozen Four featured Mercyhurst and Clarkson. Both teams looking for the first national championship game appearance in either school's history. Mercyhurst got on the board first with a goal by Jacqueline Arbor in the first period to take a 1-0 lead. However, Clarkson would take control for the rest of the game. In the second period, Renata Fast would score a goal to tie the game. Soon after, Clarkson would score another goal. This one coming from Vanessa Gagnon, assisted by Patty Kazmaier winner Jamie Lee Rattray one of the two assists she had in the game. Clarkson would go on to score three more goals to win by a final score of 5-1. to one. Clarkson's head coach Matt DeRochier said its win gives them the biggest win in school history, and Vanessa Gagnon spoke about the win and moving forward to the national championship game. I mean, we're going to appreciate what we've done, but uh, our main goal is not done yet, so we're looking ahead of us and we got a big game coming up and we're not backing down. It's not because it's Minnesota that we're not going to be aggressive and we're going to be even more into it and they're going to they're going to get a hell of a good game. <laughs> <laughs> the national championship title is on the line. Minnesota versus Clarkson, who will win it all and be truly golden. Don Raglan, Q30 Sports.